Welcome along to another video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane and in this episode we'll look at how to upload files to SharePoint 2010 document libraries. Okay, so we're going to start here on our SharePoint 2010 site. In this case um, it's coming from Office 365 but what we'll show you here is common across all the SharePoint 2010 range. So let's go to our shared documents. Uh, which is our SharePoint document library. You'll notice that I ha already have a number of files here that have been uploaded to this document library. To add a single document, all I need to do here is click the hyperlink at the bottom of the list here to add a document. When I click on that, I'll be presented with a window that allows me to browse my local file system and locate a file that I wish to upload. You'll notice here that I also have a link to upload multiple files, and we'll come to that next and you'll notice that by default any file that I choose to upload will overwrite an existing file of the same file name. So I'm good with that. I just hit the OK button and that should now initiate the transfer of that file up into my document library. So after a short pause, I'm obviously dependent on the length of the document, you'll see that the document now has been uploaded to my document library. Uh, when it does so, you'll notice that it has a little new icon next to it and it has today's date and time and also the fact that uh, the user who uploaded it, so that's me. Now what we can also do, as you noted there, is we can add a document um, and we can select multiple files. So rather than uploading a single document at a time, we can open into this interface, we can browse for a list of files. So in this case, I will take the next two documents and go open, you'll see them uh, appear here. If I now go OK, you'll now see that I get an indication that these files are uploading and when the process is complete. So this, uh, doing, doing it via multiple documents gives you a much more information about the uploading process and obviously how long it will take and the speed at which it's happening. So when the process is finished, uh, we just get click done and we should see when the page refreshes we've now got those two additional files which we just uploaded. Now obviously we can do that via the hyperlink but we can also do that um, via the ribbon interface. So if we go up to the top here and click on the documents tab you'll see that I have the option to not only upload a document so if I click on this button here it comes back to this familiar interface you'll also see that if I pull this down I now have the option to open, uh, upload multiple documents. Now, we're working with Internet Explorer here, so if we, for example, swap across to Chrome um, and try and repeat the same process, if we go to our shared documents, you'll notice uh, that it looks pretty much the same. If we go into our uh, documents area here uh, to display the ribbon, We'll notice that with the ribbon open, if we click on the upload document, the second option here to upload multiple documents is greyed out. So the ability to upload multiple documents uh, via the ribbon and also, if we go down here and click on the upload document, you'll notice that again the upload multiple documents option is not available. So that option only appears uh, with inter uh, when you're using Internet Explorer, so just be aware of that. Now what we can do is if we also, if we go now to the library tab, um, if we go across to the middle of the ribbon, we'll notice that there's an option here called Open with Explorer. So if we click on that, what that's going to do basically is map a drive from our SharePoint document library um, basically into Windows Explorer. So here's my SharePoint document library. So if we have a quick comparison of the files, you notice that all these files are listed here. So now what I can do is if I open my um, data file, so again what I can do is simply select the remaining files here and I can drag and drop them into my SharePoint site directly via uh, Windows Explorer. So again the amount of time that it takes to transfer up these files is dependent on your uh, internet links. So just be aware of that. But again, it's just as simple as dragging and dropping two files between any two network locations. So if we now have a look, we'll see that the files that we dragged and dropped now appear uh, in the uh, mapped Windows Explorer. So if we now minimize that and go and refresh our um, 
document library so we let's re refresh our SharePoint and if we scroll down here we'll notice that we have um, a number of these new documents so for example the link document was one of the ones that was copied up so again there are multiple ways to copy files into SharePoint 2010 we can for example uh, go into documents we can upload a single document we can upload a multiple document and if we use the library tab here on the ribbon we also have the ability to um, open the document library with Windows Explorer and then drag and drop between um, our local system and SharePoint directly simply using Windows Explorer. So one of the other things that we can do if users are more familiar with working in uh, files and folders in Windows Explorer we can actually make this mapping a, uh, a permanent fixture. So what we need to do is open Windows Explorer we go to the computer, click on that and you'll see appear in the top here map and network drive uh, we choose the drive that we want and then basically we put in um, the SharePoint site that we want to connect to so in this case we want to connect to our shared document so we just paste in uh, the URL there directly we select whether we want to reconnect at login uh, and then we simply go finish so now um, it will map that to a drive letter so if we have a closer look here we'll see that this has been mapped to um, Z and you'll see that the mapping there refers to a Office 365 site slash dav www root slash the location of the subsite. So again um, we can now click on that and navigate drag and drop files from our local drive dr straight into um, this map drive. So again a nice easy way to ensure that users are able to continue using SharePoint document libraries in the way they're used to it with their files and folders but always remember that the preferred option for them is always to generally go through uh, the user interface and to get the best experience and to have the most functions they need generally to work with Internet Explorer. That's all for this video thank you very much for watching. This video has been brought to you by the Office 365 and SharePoint Guide. For more information visit www.wssops.com for feedback on this video, please send email to director at ciaops.com. Keep up to date with what's happening at the CIAOps via the blog, supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog.